Here we are, back on the Home Depot bucket in the empty basement, except for the speaker. Empty glass. And a golden Belgian strong ale. 25M RD2G42, a 9%er again. Because you're going to kill me. This one has quite the hiss. Good, good, uh, good bottling technique, or maybe it's bottle conditioned. Who knows? I will say the beers in the second round have been some, uh, some pretty awesome beers. This is fun to be a part of. Um, I feel like my beer can. And kind of stand with with what I've had so far, but um, man, it, it, who's gonna come out of this thing as a winner is anybody's guess. Here we go, Belgian Golden Strong. Little hazy. This thing is carbonated as hell. Uh, you can't really see that the uh, the bubble. Maybe I need to turn the other light on. It turned into a snowstorm all of a sudden outside, which is cool. Not cool. So Belgian Golden Strong. Classic Belgian character, some apple um, esters. It smells nice. Um, it's apple but not in a cidery way. It's apple in a good, like, yeast-driven, that's nice kind of way. So, cheers. Man, this is another killer beer. That apple note in the in the aroma is there in in the flavor, but it's a lot. It's it's restrained. You get a little bit of that. It's not even quite clovey in this beer, but it's uh, warm spices like a nutmeggy kind of. Man, and another beer that for 9%, no way, uh, doesn't drink 9% at all. Just a beautiful Belgian beer. Um, yeah, give me a keg of this Saturday night, put me to sleep. I don't even know what else to say about it besides man, it's just so it's so well made it 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 the bitterness is perfectly just there for these for this beer um not not noticeable at all unless you're really kind of digging through and looking for it dries out the palate the snow is stupid outside I take you outside. This isn't a homebrew Wednesday. This is a serious video. Maybe I'll do homebrew Wednesday video too. Man, it's really just the just the yeast character on this beer is really good. It's well fermented. It's not hot. Um, you know, these especially you get up nine percent. It's easy to get a beer that's a little hot. This is not at all. Super well carbonated. Um, doesn't really, maybe it was bottle conditioned, but I don't think so. There's really, uh, well maybe, maybe this was bottle conditioned. Um, but just a little, you know, a minimal amount of sediment at the bottom. Um, but the, the, the carbonation kind of makes me think maybe it was. Really, really nice beer. Um, I feel like I should have smarter things to say, but maybe drinking two 9% beers back to back. Maybe that's diminishing my my descriptor skills, but in my head, I know what I'm supposed to say. Mm. Mm. Another great beer. Um, 25M RD2G42. Good luck. 
in the second round. That one's killer. So well made. Just hits hits all the things that I would want that beer to hit. Uh, it's not boozy. It's really... There's a depth of flavor from that yeast character that is really nice. So this is a really well done one. Cheers.